Now, we all know about the BLM riots, right? Oh, by the way, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, we all know about the BLM riots and how that pretty much uh, caused a big storm in 2020 and how all well the issues were and all, all of that. Of course, they were calling it a peaceful protest. Well, I think we would probably escalate this to being significantly worse than the BLM riots. And no, this is not me trying to downplay the BLM riots by any stretch of the magic. No, this is not what I'm doing. However, this is something that has been going on in France. And it is literally chaotic. It is literally the epitome of what we even call civil war. Because this is just complete insanity in every regard. And... We're going to go over a few of some of this. Let's take a look at a few of these clips that's actually going on in France. So yeah, the it doesn't look like too great. Now I think what we have here is a few other things that would probably be explained. Maybe you know um, a group of a whole bunch of people coming out of a truck in black gear, by the looks of it, and uh, it's a lot of them. And then we have wild animals such as lions, uh, uh, wolves, and such being released into the public. I can't imagine what. It's happened with these guys being released on to the general public. This seems like it's very tragic and uh, very dark. And uh, I don't know what's going on in France, but come on, government. You need to get your ass in gear because now the innocent, innocent people are being taken care of here. This is also due to, you know, maybe if you stop trying to allow all kinds of, you know, immigrants and people into your, into your open borders and stuff and just let them free reign, maybe this probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, so that's going swimmingly well. And I think there's a little bit more things that you need to come and look at. Because this is probably the longest one, or for longest versions. And to where, um, well, there is more flame, more chaos. But there's also a group of people completely and utterly destroying the place. Looting, uh, smashing things. Um, it's very similar to the BLM riots. Where that was mostly kind of what happened. Um, of course, BLM riots were also had things in flames as well. But... This is taking the cake. I mean, as you've seen there before, there was already a huge flame going on there. So, this is even more... This is, just take a look.
Yeah, so this was like a great place for it to be to live in into France because you know all all these people that are coming rushing into your own you know your own borders and stuff and what have you. Yeah, it's really great to have these people coming in. Now, from what I gathered here, there's a lot of these people are from open borders or what have you, just able to just go through in the country. Well, now you have this, and this is what you get with the complete chaos and utter turmoil. Now, what I also gathered as well is that this is from like the cops killing, uh, killing a, a a kid that was you know committing some type of uh, robbery or not robbery. I'm not quite. Sure. I'm not actually. I don't want to say that because I'll be uh, be reporting wrong. Uh, the kid did some sort of crime, right? And the cops have uh, killed him. Killed him mostly due to the fact that he was being a threat to the cops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what the case here. And this is what occasionally, apparently, what led to the Rachel riots uh, here in France. Now, Donald Trump had warned us and told us about France a while ago. And we should probably listen to him because he's pretty spot on what exactly happened. Take a look at this. He said he was going to France like three, four months ago. I saw him yesterday. I said, how'd you like France? He said, I wouldn't go to France. I wouldn't go to France because France is no longer France. France is no longer France. They won't like me for saying that, but you see what happened in Nice. You see what happened yesterday with the priest who was supposed to be a spectacular man. France is no longer France. And this world better be very careful and they better get very tough and I think what we're seeing here is that so far, everything that Trump has said has been correct. It's almost like he's a prophet, right? Because everything that he said eventually comes to fruition of uh, usually three to four years down the line, or possibly even less. And it's just like you don't listen to this man. And it's just an asinine. Now, um, this is not me trying to, to protect or uh, boast up Trump in any sort of way because he has his own problems, his own issues. I also have some problems that he did during presidency. That was not okay. But, you know, again, not everybody's perfect. It's like if Biden did everything good, which he doesn't, but if he did everything good and he had two mess-ups or whatever there down the lines in his presidency, it's like, well, that happens. He's a pres He's human. He's going to mess up. But unfortunately for us, we're stuck with a dictator slash, you know, a terrible president that's pretty much ruined this entire country, along possibly the even world. So you know, there's that. But Trump has been has been correct on this, and France is definitely no longer France from what I've seen. Uh, at least. Unless, you know, I'm wrong, France, and you are, and your people are supposed to act like wild animals, destroying everything in sight, and thinking that's okay because that's, because a death of a person is what you should do. Because, you know, destroying your own stuff, setting things on fire, and letting out dangerous and wild animals out onto France is, on the French people, is okay. If that's okay to you guys, then, oh, well, by all means, please, like, correct me on it. But I think anybody in the interview rational stance thinks that's not okay and should be frowned upon. Well, guys, at least you guys know what's going on with France. The complete chaotic, chaoticness that's going on in there. And 
you know, maybe things should probably be done before, you know, more people possibly die. Um, I don't know how you're going to deal with all those caged animals because that's going to be an issue. I don't know how many lions or wolves are released, but, you know, I mean, that's something. At least I'm not living there, all right? At least I don't have to deal with the problem. I do feel bad for the people, though, um, that are just trying to live their lives and they have to deal with this chaotic mess. I don't even know how the hell these people even got, how they even released these animals out, but uh, questions for another day. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's share, as always. Take care.